My friends, in this week's Torah portion, Chukat, we are reminded that gratitude was not the strong suit and forte of the Jewish people in the wilderness. They constantly complained to Moses about the lack of food and water. They were fed up with the diet of manna and the dearth of meat and vegetables. Simply put, they lacked thankfulness. The art of giving thanks enjoys special preeminence over all other religious disciplines in Judaism. The word Jew is an abbreviated form of the name Judah, which means gratitude. Judah was the fourth son of Jacob and Leah. After the birth of her fourth child, Leah exclaimed, Hapam Odeet Hashem, this time I will thank the Lord. The motive for giving thanks is summarized in a Talmudic passage in Tractate Brachot. The following have to offer thanks to the Almighty, one who crossed the sea in safety, one who completed a journey through the wilderness, one who was liberated from captivity, and one who recovered from serious illness. We are grateful for the Yordei Hayam, the first Jewish immigrants who, at the risk of their own lives, crossed the Atlantic Ocean in quest of freedom. As a result of their courage and vision, today we enjoy a burgeoning Jewish life on these blessed shores. We are also thankful for the Yordei Mitbarot, those who completed a journey through the wilderness. Our people have been most instrumental in transforming the American wilderness into an oasis of prosperity and success. Third, we are grateful to America as a safe haven for millions of Jewish refugees from captivity and bondage, escapees from the clutches of the Spanish Inquisition to displace communities fleeing the pogroms of Russia to the survivors of the unspeakable Holocaust, to the hundreds of thousands of Soviet Jewish hostages and refuseniks. Finally, as outlined in the Talmud, the last of the four causes of thanksgiving is for those who recovered from serious illness, in particular, Jews exiled from a world infected with religious bigotry, anti-Semitism, racial hatred, persecution, and bloody carnage. In this spirit, we give thanks for the United States of America as we celebrate this weekend our country's independence. Not only is it our patriotic duty as Americans, it is also an authentic expression of Judaism. We owe an indebtedness for this land of opportunity and freedom, where we practice our religion and culture on the basis of equality. Furthermore, we are most grateful to our leaders in Washington, past and present, for supporting and defending the state of Israel, often in the face of universal opposition. God bless America. Shabbat Shalom.